So this week we're going to do a partition coefficient in lab and so we need to visually see what's going on. So if you follow along with this video you should have a much better feel for what the lab is going to entail in some of the calculations. So we're going to be using a SEP funnel for the very first time and so a SEP funnel has the shape of this conical shape and it has a few important pieces to it. There's this narrow part at the top and then there's a stopcock. And then you can see that triangle shape at the bottom is designed so that when you have two layers, it becomes easier and easier to separate the two layers as you go towards the narrow neck. So we're gonna start off with benzoic acid and it's going to be in an aqueous solution. And we're going to use our knowledge of converting molarity and volume to moles. So we're going to be given a certain molarity and we remember that we've got moles divided by liters and if we know the molarity and we know the volume we can multiply those two numbers to get moles so remember molarity times volume in liters will give you moles or if you can do molarity times milliliters and that will give you millimoles so whichever way you want to do it as long as you use your units that's perfectly fine so benzoic acid is an interesting compound because it is partially soluble in water and in this case water is going to be represented by the blue layer but it's also partially soluble in the green layer in this case the green layer is going to be methylene chloride so CH2Cl2 so that's a solvent that has a different density than water, but some of the benzoic acid will go into the organic layer, the green methylene chloride layer, and some of the benzoic acid will stay in the water. And we're going to use a process of extraction that will allow some of the benzoic acid to be mixed with the methylene chloride and then partition. So, the partition coefficient is KD, or some people use um, uh, a K partition. We can't say KP because that's different. Um, in our gen chem, we know that that was the equilibrium constant. So this is going to be an equilibrium constant, which is a, a distribution between the organic layer and the aqueous layer. So what we want to do is we want to calculate the concentration that stayed in the organic layer that's going to go in the numerator and that's going to be over the amount that was in the aqueous layer. So first we're going to go through and do some calculations and in the next video I will do a, a, a two component extraction for so the first one we're just going to do is a single component extraction so when we look at this partition coefficient um, formula we need some information so we need the total amount that's going to be extracted so for our lab we're going to start with 40 mils and we need to know how much the extraction is going to be. So we're going to have 10 mils of methylene chloride. And we have A, which is going to be the initial um, or the total moles or the total amount of benzoic acid. And then we're going to calculate X. So X will be the amount that's going into that layer. 
So that's a portion of A. Okay. So the formula says that the distribution partition constant is going to be the amount that gets extracted over the volume that you extract. So the numerator is going to be our 10 milliliters of uh, um, methylene chloride. So that 10 goes in the numerator. Now our denominator is going to be the aqueous phase. So it's going to be the total sample because it started off as an aqueous phase minus the amount that went into the organic phase. And then that whole thing divided by the volume of the aqueous phase. So the numerator is the amount um, that went into the organic phase divided by the organic phase volume. The denominator is the total sample because we started off with an aqueous phase minus x which is what went into the organic phase divided by 40 mils which is the total amount that we started with. So we started with 40 mils of benzoic acid in water. And our x is going to be the benzoic acid that went into the organic layer. So this formula is not very useful in the way it is right now. So a lot of people like to simplify it. So we theoretically know that the partition coefficient for benzoic acid from water into methylene chloride has the value of 2. So we're going to be able to rearrange this formula to show the relationship between A and X when I'm talking about benzoic acid and a partition coefficient of 2. So let's do that relationship over here. So let's start off with that relationship. 2 equals x over 10 divided by the whole quantity a minus x over 40. So I'm going to simplify this and I'll have 2 times a minus x over 40 equals x over 10. Simplify that. And so now I get a minus x over 20 equals x over 10. And let's cross multiply. So I get 20x equals 10 times a minus x. Divide both sides by 10. And I'll get 2x equals a minus x. So I'm almost there. So at this point, you can put it in terms of a or in terms of x. Most people will put it in terms of x. So when they solve it, they'll take x to the other side. So they'll get 3x equals a. Or you can solve for x and you'll get x equals a over 3 or 1 third a. So what that means is if I'm doing an extraction where I have 40 milliliters of water that has my benzoic acid and I extract with 10 milliliters of methylene chloride, one third of my total will go into the organic layer. So we're going to um, do another calculation where we do, a, instead of doing 10 milliliters all at once, we're going to do two 
repetitions of five milliliters each, and we're going to see what happens to the partition coefficient when we do that.